identity versus role confusion is a psychological stage in which individuals, particularly adolescents, explore and develop a sense of self. During this stage, people try to define who they are, what they believe in, and what direction they want to take in life. If successful, they form a strong sense of identity, which provides confidence and stability. However, if they struggle to establish their identity, they may experience role confusion, leading to uncertainty about their values, career choices, and social roles. This stage is a critical part of personal development as it helps shape long-term identity and future decisions. Now let's look at the origin of this theory. The identity versus role confusion stage was introduced by psychologist Eric Erickson as part of his theory of psychosocial development. Erickson identified eight stages of human development, each involving a conflict that must be resolved for healthy psychological growth. Identity versus role confusion is the fifth stage and typically occurs during adolescence. Erickson believed that during this period, individuals explore different roles, relationships and beliefs before forming a stable identity. If they do not successfully navigate this stage, they may struggle with uncertainty and insecurity about their place in society. Now let's look at some examples of identity versus role confusion. One example of identity development can be seen in teenagers experimenting with different hobbies, career interests or social groups. A student might explore different extracurricular activities, such as joining a sports team or a debate club, to discover what aligns with their interests and values. Through this process, they gain confidence in their abilities and start forming a clearer sense of identity. On the other hand, role confusion can occur when an individual feels lost or uncertain about who they are. For example, a teenager who constantly changes friend groups, interests or future plans without feeling truly connected to any of them may experience confusion about their identity. Without guidance or self-reflection, they may struggle to develop a stable sense of self and feel uncertain about their direction in life. Now let's look at some strengths of Erickson's theory. One strength of Erickson's identity versus role confusion theory is that it highlights the importance of self-exploration in adolescence. By emphasising the need for young people to explore different roles and values, the theory provides a framework for understanding how individuals develop a strong sense of identity. This perspective helps explain why adolescence is often a time of change and self-discovery. Another strength is that the theory acknowledges the lifelong impact of identity formation Erickson argued that successfully navigating this stage leads to greater confidence and emotional stability in adulthood. Individuals with a well-developed identity are more likely to form healthy relationships, make informed life choices and have a clearer sense of purpose. Now let's look at some criticisms of the theory. One criticism of Erickson's theory is that identity development may not follow a clear timeline. While Erickson suggested that the identity versus role confusion stage occurs during adolescence, many individuals continue to explore their identity well into adulthood. Career changes, personal growth and life experiences can all contribute to identity shifts beyond the teenage years, making the process more complex than the theory suggests. Another criticism is that the theory does not fully account for cultural and social influences on identity formation. Different societies and cultures shape identity in unique ways, and some individuals may face greater challenges in forming a stable identity due to external pressures or societal expectations. This means that identity development may vary significantly depending on personal circumstances and social environment.